My name is Brian Gilman, and I'm your teacher and your guide. This short video is intended to introduce myself, lay out some ground rules and expectations that you will need to know to be successful in this course. There are three things I need you to know before we get started. First, the syllabus is our contract. Read it and understand it. Second, my expectations of you. And then third, what you should expect of me. So first, the syllabus is a written contract between you and I. It lays out the rules, so be sure that you read it. You will not be able to access the first lesson until you've checked marked at, Mark as Reviewed at the bottom of the page. There you will learn about my lateness policy, best ways to communicate with me, and how I will calculate your grade. All right, so next, second thing I need you to know, what my expectations are of you as a learner. Epictetus said, you cannot learn what you think you already know. Approach each module with an open mind and seek out new information. I will always give you multiple options in your assignments. Don't pick the option that you know the most about. Pick the option that you know the least about. This course is a 3000 level course. It is designed for undergraduates. What that means is that I expect you to understand the course material and to demonstrate to me that you can apply it. I'm not looking for you to regurgitate what the author wrote. I'm looking for you to apply it I also want you to make arguments and then support the arguments with sound reasoning and cited supported evidence. I do care about your experiences and your opinions, and I do want you to share them. But the purpose of this course is not for you to tell me about what you already know, but for you to demonstrate that you understand the course material. I also expect you to interact with fellow students, help make their arguments stronger. This is a great place to bring up your experiences. But simply responding to a student's post with, hey, great post, I totally agree, and then provide a follow-up question, that's not interaction. That's cheerleading. I'm looking for you to provide substantive support to your fellow students, post or, other, or offer other constructive critiques. Help make their arguments better. Be value-added. And then the last expectation, communicate with me early and often. We all have busy lives, and... You know, if you know you're not going to make a deadline, contact me and we can work it out. But you have to contact me before it's late. All right, so the third point. Here's what you should expect of me. I'm a teacher. I'm not an online proctor. Expect me to challenge your assumptions and to ask you hard questions. I will grade your papers very critically from both a substance perspective and from a structural perspective. I firmly believe that adult education is a customer service business. And what I mean by this, you are the customer and it's my job to meet your needs. This does not mean that the customer is always right. So, so when in doubt about right and wrong, contact me, read the syllabus or read the university policies. But you can't expect me to do everything within my power to make your learning experience productive and value. At the end of the day, you're paying for a service and that's education and I'm being paid to provide that service. That's the way I view things. I'm here to work with you. And, and finally, I will always return an email or text message to you within 24 hours. If I do not respond within 24 hours, attempt to contact me again. So, so just as a recap, uh, the next step for you is read the syllabus. Uh, go to syllabus. It's on the left side of the blackboard. Go to the bottom. Mark is reviewed. And at that point, you'll be able to view course material, and go to the discussion board. I need you to go ahead and create a thread in the icebreaker. Looking forward to working with you.